a field goal, use their final timeout, and if it's a normal field goal, they're going to get the football back with a minute 50 or so, and a chance to move down the field and tie the game. Instead, this one is going to end in anticlimactic fashion. And everyone around the league covers these situations. We call them special situations, right? We call them winning edges, all of those. I would venture to say that no one covers them better than Tennessee. Others may cover it as well, but none of us cover it better. So major surprise there. That is the defenseless player you're supposed to leave alone, no contact. And they got him, and now they get no opportunity to try and tie this game. Baltimore and Jacksonville have got bonus coverage coming up. The rematch belongs to Cincinnati. The Bengals win it 20 to 16 over the Tennessee Titans. They won it back in January in the divisional round, and they do it again here in Nashville. State Farm postgame show. JB, Phil, Nate, Broomer, Coach Cower, latest NFL scores and highlights all coming up on the State Farm postgame show. Cincinnati improves to seven and four on the season. Tennessee drops to seven and four. Still have the big lead in the AFC South. But frustrating way to lose for the Tennessee Titans. Cincinnati comes into Nashville and they do it again. For Charles Davis, Evan Washburn, Gene Steratore, Ian Eagle saying so long as we go to James Brown in New York. All right, so since he does pick up its third straight win with that victory, as Ian Eagle indicated, we take you now. Baltimore at Jacksonville. Baltimore up by nine. 10 23 left in regulation. Let's join the announcers at that game Andrew Catalan, James Lofton, and Amanda Renner. <laughs> 